Louisiana Beer Reviews Cherry Pickin' Hard Cherry Lime Aid. This is from Lazy Magnolia, Magnolia, Mississippi's oldest brewery. I bought this at Claiborne Market in Bay St. Louis, Louisiana, which is on US Highway 90 on the westbound side of the road. Four lane highway there. I know I always mention that highway because I find so many beers and liquors along that, that route. not the freshest expression of it but um, you go to these grocery stores then I check in dates generally but Therns is pretty good about it they'll put it on discount other ones they don't care black forest cake chili cheese tots pork chops and sauteed kale is what they say you could pair it with uh, have it at 31 degrees near freezing this is very cold not that cold semi-sweet it's saying straight from the bottle I'm not gonna do that 5% alcohol a malt beverage made with sour cherry, lemon, and lime juices. So it's a fruit beer. Um, don't give the IBU, and I'm sure it's low. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's got the born on date, guys. Now they were saying on the website, and there's just nothing on the cap, just a flat cap. I'm going to have to get, um, you know, plain cap. I'm going to have to get rid of this bottle. It's too faded. I, I got this in 1996. I bought a six pack of this, this at uh, in, at Winn Dixie in Lafayette, Louisiana, because you, you usually don't see 12 ounce bottles around here of old Milwaukee. But it's faded. Red fades. My grandmother used to say, "I love red cars, but they always fade." And they do that. Red is the worst color for fading. Not that red, but red. Okay. But anyway, try to get the cap off of here. Yeah, uh, it's fused it's been on there since 96 uh, we'll worry about that later because the cap is in good shape the light didn't really hit it old Milwaukee cap I'll put it in my cap collection around it's tight talking about flake now uh, lazy magnolia said they were gonna do like the other companies and make a craft flavored malt liquor or flavored malt beverage which is flavored beer based pro oh it's twist cap huh. didn't have the little arrows on the cap oh, look at that twist cap <laughs> so they're trying to imitate the mass produced flavored malt liquors uh, flavored malt beverages like this uh, Cayman Jack Margarita premium malt beverage with natural flavors natural lime juice and real cane sugar when I was in Mississippi and Bay St. Louis, in fact, I saw the Moscow Mule version of this. But it's an only 11.2 ounce bottle. And secondly, so it's a European size. Secondly, this flavored ale says, that's a disclosure, flavored ale. The second problem is that um, I didn't want to buy a six pack. I only wanted a single. But I bet you the Moscow Mule was as good as this. This was fabulous. Uh, naturally flavored malt beverage. Oh yeah, they did a great job with this one. And it's from uh, Rochester, New York. That's Genesee Brewery. NAB Brewery. Memphis, Tennessee, and La Crosse, Wisconsin City Brewing. So they're they're doing, they've got two different companies doing it for them. Contains alcohol. So if you ever want to try a good one with this beautiful embossed bottle, check out the Cayman Jack. It's a real winner for flavored beer. And I got all these Milwaukee's Best cans on display. I started Collecting them in 96. 96. I think that's backwards. 98. 99, yeah. Because I remember they had a billboard on US Highway 61 with the tiger scratching through the billboard. The beast, it said. The beast. But at 4.3, after a while, it wasn't too much of a beast. Luckily, they went back to 4.8. Sadly, it's been discontinued in Louisiana. It's no longer sold in Louisiana. Milwaukee's best. We still get the light, of course, and the ice in some stores. Whoa, that's dark. Dark ruby red. Head is retaining a little bit more than normal. The mass produced ones, crickle crackle. You know, the mass produced ones like they're from Budweiser or other companies, big companies, they just go right away immediately. It doesn't retain any any foam. This one is doing that, so that's a good sign, I think.
in its natural flavors and its actual real juice. Sour cherry, lemon, and lime. Okay. Hard cherry lime aid. I'm trying to see if there's any other disclosure on here. No, that's their disclosure. Malt beverage made with. Malt beverage meaning a beer type product. Oh. It was make your own six pack for $8.99. These days, that's a good deal. $1.50 a sample, that's normal. Smells tart. Get a slight malt underbody. Pale malt. They just, they, they do the malt. I talked about this and William Kepley talked about this. They do the malt like, um, create the barley malt like a, a vodka. They try to make it like a vodka where it's odorless and tasteless. And then they build the flavors on that beer base. They don't want it to have flavor. They want the flavorings to come from the flavor ings. I mean, they want the fl they want the flavor to come from the flavorings. Sorry, just like with the blended American whiskeys and Canadian and Scotch whiskeys. A lot of cherry here, sour cherry. Makes me think of Kiafa, the uh, cherry wine, which. The one we're getting now is coming from Poland. It used to come from Finland. Same old, same company. Mm -hmm. If you ever go looking for Kiafa, it's spelled K-I-J-A-F-A. -A. It looks like Kijafa. It's pronounced Kiafa. You do get the beer undertaste, the pale malt undertaste. Now, is it a lager or an ale? I really don't know. Just say a malt beverage. A malt beverage could be an ale or a lager, right? Could be bottom fermented or top fermented. Could be cellared for a long time, or it could be, you know, could be cold, brewed at a cold temperature or a warmer temperature. You know what I'm saying? But they're not saying it. And the website didn't say too much about it. Just that we're trying, they basically said we're trying to make a, like all the, the Ritas, Lime Ritas, and the Seagram's Escapes type thing. This is a middle ground. The Seagram's Escapes, those are really low in the three point something range. 3.2 maybe? Far too low. Uh, then you can get the... Uh, found it on a road trip, right? The um, Well, you can get the original Club Tales here. That's 10. That's a flavored ale from Canada. The original Club Tales are made with natural flavorings, and they're 10% there. They'll knock you out. Hammer you in there in a pint can. Oh, oh, oh man. Sometimes in a 24-ounce. Then there's those 12 percenters uh, that I bought in Lake Charles, Louisiana, right? Mm, with the funny animals. Hadn't seen them in southeastern Louisiana. The the MXD mixed cock from Genesee Brewery. Oh, those things were just... I didn't like them in the sense that they made you feel like you had been drugged. The flavors, spot on. They did a great job with the flavors in the mixed cocktail company. Um, flavored Ale, Genesee. But um, just the effects was too strong. Is it better to buy a pint can of those and share it? And then my friend David down at in Jefferson Parish bought, bought. He still got one in the fridge a year later. I guess it's okay. I, I'm. I always tell him like, why do you keep stuff? I just really ask him. I'm not telling him. I don't care what people do with their own beverages. But I'm like, why do you keep this stuff forever? It's like. I would drink it. I wouldn't just keep accumulating things that would go stale. I, I don't do that. But he gets aggravated if I ask him. But like the sneaky tiki, it's like I'm looking at it. I say, drink it, drink it. That's the flavored ale with the hot pepper in it from Genesee Brewery. 
I liked it, you know, I mean, for what it was, he was saying, it's too sugary, it's just like a bunch of sugar. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's obvious. That's what these things are. They're not, they're flim flam products, but I thought it was a very high quality flim flam product. <laughs> um, it's like watching Smoking the Bandit. You don't say, oh, this is like a literary classic. It's going to be taught in school for the deep meaning you know, nobody's going to watch that and say, Hush puppies, daddy. Hush puppies. We don't have time for that crap. You know, and think that that's like great art, high art. It's obvious lowbrow humor. But it's a, that's a great example of lowbrow humor. You know, I want a Dr. Pepper and a Diablo sandwich. And these are kind of like that thing. Okay, you got to look at them in the right perspective. If you're too uptight and hung up. You can't judge these right, I don't think. And for what this is, this is a, a much higher brow representation of the low brow. You know what I'm saying? This is real fruit juice and it smells like it. I mean, it's strong cherry, lemon and lime. It's coming together really nice like a mixed juice item. You would imagine that the IBUs are low, 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 low. The tartness units are high. The bitterness units are low. On the Cyclops scale, the bitterness units would be oh, one out of five hop cones at best. The sweetness units, because Cyclops gives two scales, hop cones, bitterness, sugar cube, sweetness, and that's it. On the sweetness scale, obviously, it's four and a half out of five sugar cubes. Not quite five, not total sugar, but it's close. Now, some of those others I talked about, It'd be five out of five. This is a great one. This is one of the best flavored malt beverages I've ever had. Just goes to show you a real competent craft beer company can put out a dynamite product even within this category. It's got the juice, it's got the underlying beer flavor. The body is medium, 5% medium. The finish is on the dry side. Doesn't taste like high fructose corn syrup. They're probably using real cane sugar. Doesn't taste old even though it's not super fresh. It's an all-around winner. I'm gonna say 96 out of 100 and that seems too high but it isn't. It's most excellent. Finding 4% fault with it is stretching it really. It's totally on point. Totally on point and they have done other fabulous beers like they had that fleur de lis wheat beer which i don't think they make anymore that was just one of the most exceptional beers i've ever tried it was just fabulous wonderful and incredible in every way the cayman jack was great and that's from a mass produced you know a mac, mac macro brewer our uh, genesee all right you know it's that same squat bottle like genesee but different uh, filigree uh there, I'm sorry, different embossment with a, ga a gator, a caiman, not a gator, not a, a dial, but I'm in. <laughs> a caiman. Fabulous mass produced flavored beverage, malt beverage, uh, flavored ale, and a fabulous one here. So, Lazy Lay Bon Ton Relay, I can't praise it enough. I'm so delighted. I thought it was just going to be ho hum, and it's just exploding plastic inevitable. So I'm going to end this review by saying, and I, and I saved the matzo crackers and the uh, Limburger cheese for after this. I was about to eat them, and I said, oh, you don't want that in your mouth. You know, the Limburger is so strong, it lingers. Y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.